Hello buddy, Master Farmer, and welcome back to episode 2 of our Let's Play on Sparrow Hill Farm. Um, so we're back. Um, all I've done since the previous episode is bought us a, a, a third spinner because I hadn't got one. Um, but that's about it. We've brought the combine and the tractor um, and the John Deere, sorry, with the header down at the field already. Because I took the combine this way and as you can probably judge by the tire tracks, it only just squeezed down here. This is tight with the combine so if you come this way be wary you can go the other way it's, the other way is probably twice as easy to get through but okay anyway so there it is all set up ready to rock and roll that is field what field is that that is field nine pretty sure field 10 is this little one here as you can see the pda needs doing which it will get done this is field nine here a nice little small field um no sorry that's field 10 this is field nine um so yeah Ready to rock and roll. Trailer's already here. This is a really nice trailer. Um, they're on Mod Hub US, I think it's called, or US. My wool pallet spawning point has is working now. Um, all right, the cage slides a bit towards the gate, but it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so the last thing we need to do is bring the trailer, which is on the 36, 36, 50. Now there aren't any grain cell point, um, store points, sorry, but what you can actually do is just tip it on the floor. So we aren't going to do that, we're just going to go sell it. Uh, I don't even know what this crop is, I think it's barley. Where are we looking? Please tell me the shops come up. Yeah, so barley is not really that good of a price, so we'll have to store it somewhere. Or we'll just go sell it. Anyway. It's, it is just, we are testing them out, so it doesn't really matter if we don't make any money at all. Um, the only thing we actually need to buy after this is... Is all the seeds for doing the next crop. That's it. That's it. We go... I want to put this somewhere where it can even get it back. Plus, the day six isn't too small of a tractor. You can go there. We're gonna have to shut the gate for the start of this. Um, we're not gonna use cosplay or anything. We're just gonna do it ourselves. Fire up the combine. Let's turn it on and go. So this is the first bit of crop testing that has been done on this map. I'm gonna do it out of camp so I can make sure the ground collisions on the ground are all okay. And when the straw is put down. Um, Now, you have to do some of the corners on that like that type square. Um, just not going to do it if you don't do it this way. Boing. No, this field won't. This field don't take very long. The biggest one is the one just by the houses, um, a bit further in the village. That is uh, the biggest field to do. So that that's not even like cropping it yet. There's only one more arable field with the crop in, which we don't even own. So we have literally just got this field to do. Um, the only thing we need to get is a baler. That's it. And then we're going to test all this. The reason I put the border back from where the fence line actually is, back over there, is to make my life a bit easier when, when I'm doing stuff like this out of camp to see stuff, or when I was in Giant Center to see and stuff. Now this is the barbed wire fence along here, um, which does make it a bit tricky to see with the longer grass. But... Yep, yeah, you just have to, you just have to, you just have to get your stuff. Now we aren't going to win row this because the win row we've got is the single single row, so it's tiny. But when we it'll, it'll be all right for when we're doing the hay and the grass and that. We've got like five or six rows in the hay, but we do that. Not the hay, but sorry, the uh, PZ. Oh well. 
into one row. And then we're gonna, if we're making hay, we're just gonna windrow it, then head it, which is not how you do it in real life. But in this game, it's a, it's a hell of a lot easier to do it that way with the with the hay bob than it is to actually win head it whilst it's in rows. The PZ does, doesn't make too big a row. As you can see, we're already nearly finished. Like I said, do not take very long at all. Which is what I wanted. I wanted something where it wouldn't take me very long to do anything. Um, but yeah, it, it is It is what it is. There are going to be fields to take a bit longer than others. The big arable one will take a bit longer. But these little ones that are just dotted around the map do sort of help with can sort of see that you need all the fields on this map really. Now if this map had seasons this would be extremely, this map would be a, an absolute beast of a challenge to, to try and tackle. Because with seasons you'd always have to, you need to make a, uh, like a, a, so you need a supply of stuff but of course you've only got one time to harvest and that would be right at the end of the year and of course you haven't got many fields so that means you won't make much money see you out for the rest of the year so you'd be kind of it'd be a bit hit and miss with what you actually spent your money on if you spent any money because the game will always take out vehicle maintenance or vehicle cost or whatever it's called so you always have to pay out for something the game won't just let you sit there and keep your money till next year no it's really didn't need the trailer we're not even going to get a load of this the one is really Every bit helps. Come on, harvest it. I'm just sort of. If this field is tiny, you could literally just go around and around. But I'm gonna go around. I don't know, I just fancy doing this. I just fancy doing it like this. There's really no reason to do it like this. Just fancy doing it. Could buy us a little massive bailer. Like, I haven't got any old school sort of style bailers, which would be nice to have. Uh, uh, what would be nice is a flat eight and a small square bailer. That would be really cool to have because that would fit this map perfectly. Um, but there isn't one out there, unfortunately. So, uh, just make it all the Which it is good. I was going to do this field off screen, but I thought, what's the point? It's not going to take me long at all. I'm going to get them good points. Um, it is, it, which is nice because some maps you hit them and you think, oh yeah, I'm going to play. And you end up spending all of it, like you know, half the time you're playing, you're just harvesting and then you're not really doing much else. Whereas this map, the fields are that small, you can turn around stuff pretty quick. Like, you know, harvesting. We've been at this like nearly not even ten minutes yet with it. We'll get the combine all back, which might be a bit of a a bit of a challenge, but I might put the combine in the other shed. The one there is the road over there, the sheep uh, the sheep some area. Just to keep it out of the way of the main farm at the moment. It's a bit of a squeeze to fit it in anywhere. And it's kind of annoying. This is what you get for playing a small map. Um, so I've been playing for nearly an hour now, but I haven't, haven't found any bugs. Anything that I consider that needs fixing, like nothing game breaking yet, which I hopefully don't want to find, but I really don't really want to find something that's game breaking stop and then have to redo you know, all the progress again that we made play, you know, like, you know. If they're just like textures and stuff we, we can get away with that and start a new save game, but if they're, if they're actual like terrain or anything to do with the animals or anything like that we have to start again once you, once you start messing around with them that's it the game just doesn't like it so, well, I've 
got one more road to do and we're done. So that was literally 10 minutes of harvesting. Look, we're done. And we're only going to get about 40% of the combine, which is good. It's always good. Um, when we get all the fields, there'll be loads. There'll be quite a fair bit of harvesting to do once it's all grown. So what, how much money have we got? We've got 62 grand, so we can afford the round belt New Holland or the that one because it's cheaper. Now you could probably bail lift them in, but we've got uh, we've got like three bail trailers already, so we might as well just drag them in on a little bail trailer. Um, we'll take this and go sell it. I mean the prices are pretty low, but. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, funny that, we've got no fuel there. Now this is a contest mod, it was taken out of the contest because I think it had a load of borrowed bits on it which I'm not allowed to have. Come on then, open gate. Open it. Yeah, this is not even going to be... Yeah, like I thought. Not even worth actually driving to the place for, but that's what you get, so. Get the big 36 running. Hill. This is an absolute. That, the hills on this map kill some of these tractors, like, absolutely, which means you can prove the ones that have not the right horsepower or anything like that, because. You can take. I've taken 170 horsepower up the hill just there as we go up to the farm on that side there and it, it almost killed killed it so. um, now originally the plans for this map weren't even to have this sort of area added to it, it was going to be literally that have a shop and at the shop have the sell point for all the grain and everything but and then I sort of got building and decided oh yeah we'll just have it that the gate which there should be automatic but this is in a very rich place, as you can probably tell. I mean, the houses are very nice houses, but there isn't a lot. Of so let's see how much we can make. So, how much was that? 1,380. I should have put this pit a bit, I should have moved this cell point a bit further from the a bit too close. Well, we'll leave gates open because there's not a lot. So, so. 36 is a real... I, I personally, what... I think the front axle on this thing looks a bit weird. Like. I don't know if this is how they look in real life because I've never seen one. I, well, I have, but I haven't really looked at one of those. I think the axles look too long. Like, the front axles look too long. Now, I know people will mean like, people will say, well, it's for the steering and, you know, the wheels, like, go round as this this have to have that much gap. I know that. But if you look at the wheels in Farm Sim, I don't see why that axle should be so long. But, it's just, it's just probably just me. I don't know. Probably is just me because I'm probably going to get comments saying, "Well, they're built like this." I know they're built like. This. Right, so we're going to try and fit the combine in that shed there. If I can stop smashing my trailer up, that can be reversed a little bit. Trailer here, gateway. Like that. Right, so we need to get the header. We've used a 36 the most, actually. Um, now, the header is going to live at the sheep farm, hopefully. It'll live on this little four-foot trailer we've got. Um, it could go on the six, but I like I want to use the six for picking up the males. Bigger. B. Well, the one thing I've always noticed is that little white sort of thing there to stop your link arm swaying around in white. 
Like, it's always been that since it was like released. So. Let's get the combine. Let's fold the pipe up, put that away. Put it in the front. Yep, I understand this is a bit too big for this trailer, but there it goes. We want it to that front so it sticks out far further on the back. So you can turn, you can get yourself in. We're going to put the combine away. Look at that farm. It's just, it's, it's just out of the way then. It's not, it's not because I don't want it at the other yard. Just, oh god, that's a bit there. A little bit unrealistic of me just driving straight for the edge, but yeah, once it's out of the way of this yard, well, out of the way of the other yard, because we've got bales and stuff we've got to put up there, so we've got to keep somewhere spare. And of course, we've always got the other yard, which is a bit further down the road, which I really don't mind driving to. I could leave it outside, or we could put it in the shed. Now, if it'll go in the shed, I'll put it in the shed. Entirely sure it works. Oh yeah, it does. It fits. This is the first time I'm actually making sure anything fits in this shed. There we go. It sits. It, it sits nicely over the massive dip that's in this shed for some stupid reason. But uh, yeah, so we'll go pick up the baler as well after we've got this. We won't use a 36. We'll use a case of them. Thing now. now we'll, we'll try going that way, but back up the yard, the little slip road thing there, but I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to go. Because the header will catch the hedge, because the hedges have header collisions. They, for some reason the, he the headers have the same collision as bales, because these, these hedges here will stop bales going through them, but they also stop headers. But nothing else, they'll let everything else through. It gets a bit, it gets a bit of a squeeze. Like, you know, it is, it is a tight area to try and get out of the But this, this can live up here. There's nothing, there's nothing really up here that it might. Well, it's just easier up here because the tractors are always up here. So if we put this at the back, oh. Not just hit, we'll put it at the back over there, behind that, the lean tubes. That's where it can live until we need it again next harvest time. Um, well, we'll go pick up the baler. We'll just pick the baler up. Ah, uh, well, no, we'll take the case because we need to put some albums in here. I've used this 36 a lot. Quite a mixture of tractors on this farm, which is actually quite nice. Now I don't know how well it's going to handle that corner. It is a steering wheel. So, oh look at that, just ramp it round the corner. Good God, that's a bit, that's a, that's a bit steep. It doesn't really matter if it's outside. It's the Press B to lower the little foot. So it's a bit it's raised up a bit, but it's very uh, John there can just live. We'll just take it into the shed. Silage pit for now, which is a pretty big silage pit for this sort of map. You won't, you will never fill this unless you mowed every field about 300 times. Let's take case, which is actually quite quiet compared to this. But this bale is going to look a bit silly on this case because this case is huge. You can see that's that's quite uh, a what's it. Now the reason I got the idea to do that track where it kind of angles around the thing was I was planning on making it go straight and you have a really long pull. But then I thought, well you don't really see it on maps where it's got a really sharp turn, like a sharp corner and then another sharp corner. Now I know the hedges have collisions and I made it, I've made this map insanely tight so they are in, they are stupidly hard to get. Around without clipping through them or anything, but, you know, if you try, you can go all the way, you can go down that hill, and if you don't do it as a mile like I do, you can go down it, and 
get away with it. You won't hit the hedge, but it, you just got to take your time with it. It's whether it's whether you can be bothered to take your time with it. I mean, to be honest, there are some pretty good poles on this hill, so on this map anyway. Pull in. Squish some chickens. Now the reason they're there is because whoa, hello. What did you hit there? The reason they are there is because I like to keep the chickens away from the, the other animals because I hate the noise of the chicken sometimes when I've got my game volume on. It just gets repetitive if I'm in that yard doing a load of stuff, so I put them over there. Um, so yeah, I, I could have put them in that little grass bank there and penned them up, but do you really, would you really see that on a farm or would you just, you know, a farm that actually had chickens if they were? Most farms do let them run around. They don't run around. I know chickens can't fly, but they can. They can kind of do like a hover jump thing. It's, it's quite odd and difficult to explain. Because like when we used to do. When I used to work on the farm, we had a load of them penned up, and they used to climb to the top of the cage and jump. And sort of be able to sort of slow their descent. So they can't fly as such, but. Anyway, I'm going to do one head under this, and then that'll do. We'll do this next episode. So this, is, this is next episode's job. Um, this is a nice map if you do record like I do, because you don't have to do anything off screen. Everything can be done in less than 20 minutes. I mean, we're on 21 minutes now, and I've managed to harvest and pick the nail. But anyway, um, we'll just let that. We'll use the case, because the case is really nice. Um, but anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more today, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Happy farming, and goodbye.